everybody. So today I'm going to make the video I told you guys about um, a couple videos ago. Um, it is the China Glaze. I said I'd do a review on the China Glaze Crackle, the new metallic crackle collection. And also I just recently purchased four polishes from their newest collection which is called Metro. So I'm just going to kind of add both of these into the same video. Um, so first since the metallic collection came out first, I will go over that one first. Um, it does appear that these are going to be limited edition, um, which means they're not going to be available regularly. Um, maybe if they sell good, they will be. Um, I'm not sure, but what I'm reading online is that they are not, or that they are limited edition. So if you are interested in them, I would try and get them. There are six colors all together. I have four of the six. The two I did not purchase is a bronze one, which in my opinion looked too much like the gold one, so that's why I didn't get it. And then a soft lavender one, which I just didn't get because, um, I don't know really why I didn't get that one. I just didn't want that one. So, anyways, the four that I did get are Platinum Pieces, which is silver. Uh, ox or er, yeah, oxidized aqua, which looks like that. Um, tarnished gold. Hot metal, but instead of H O T, it's uh. Well, I guess I could just show you guys. It's H A U T E metal. So those are the four that I got at Sally's. These retail for $4.99 each. If you have a Sally's card, they are a little bit cheaper. You can also get them at Ulta. I'm not positive how much they are at Ulta, but I know that Ulta sells China Glaze. Um, these are the swatches that I have. Four colors. I put them all over black um, just because I felt that let them show up the best. But those are, this is turquoise, the turquoise, this is the pink, this is the silver, and this is the gold. You don't have to put them over black, but I felt that the black is what made them show up the best. Um, as you can see, they all crackled perfectly fine. One didn't crackle less than the other. They all worked perfectly good. It just came out. Now... Another collection that China Blaze just came out with, which I believe is going to be their fall um, collection, is called Metro. Looks like that. I have four of the 12, I believe. Yes, 12 colors. I have four of the 12. Um, I'll show you the four that I have. Um, if you want to check out the other colors in the collection, I believe Tim Talia's website has swatches and stuff, so you can check her website. So, the first one is CG in the City. And it is a very glittery purple. Now, it looks purple in the bottle, but when you swatch it, um, it does not really look like that. I will show you the swatch. This is the swatch of that one. Um, it's very light and um, not as, I mean it's, it's purple but it's not like an in your face purple sparkle. Um, definitely not my favorite of the four. I honestly don't know if I will ever use this just because there's nothing exciting about it really. Um, it kind of just looks like silver and very, very muted purple glitter when you swatch it. If I were to ever use this, it would never be on its own. I would use it as like an overcoat or something, but it's just not, it's not a very, I mean, exciting color, so I would definitely pass on this one. Um, Urban Night, and it is a cream kind of eggplant deep purple color. Right there. Like right there. 
So it's a deep purple. Um, it's a nice color. I mean, like, nothing exciting again, really. But it's a nice plummy um, winter color. <laughs> Midnight Magic. And this is like a deep, deeper purple color than the last color I showed you with um, gold micro fine glitter all in it. So you can see right there. Now, as soon as I saw this, um, immediately from the um, OPI um, Burlesque collection, the TZ Does It popped in my head, which they are very similar. But the only difference is this one has gold glitter. The TZ Does It has more of like a reddish pink kind of glitter in, in it. But um, they are very, very similar. So I would say if you own um, the OPI TZ Does It, don't buy this because it's pretty much the same thing. Um, the swatch for this is right here. The camera is not picking up the glitter in it. too well but you can kind of see it right there and the last color I have is called skyscraper which um, I have to say is maybe my favorite well not really my favorite one none of these really got me excited they're all in my opinion pretty dull and dupable but um, this one is skyscraper and it is a very glittery uh, it kind of looks purple in the camera, but in real life, this is blue. Um, and it's blue, well, is it blue glitter? No, it is silver glitter and a blue gel base polish. And this is what the swatch of that one looks like. Um... This one, more so than this one, I would say you could wear it on your own. I don't know if I ever would. I would still probably use this as like an overcoat for a color, but um, I would have to say probably if I had to pick out of these four, I like this one the best. Um, so yes, those are the four I have. I can't really speak on the rest of the collection, but from these four, in my opinion, it's very... It's very dull and um, not exciting. Like it's not like I would just run out and grab stuff from this collection just because nothing is like too different from what's already out. So once again, this is the Metro collection from China Glaze. Um, if you like any of these colors, I mean, go ahead and check out some of the other colors. But um, yeah, so that was my kind of review on these new China Glaze collections. So if you have any questions, just please feel free to ask, and I will see you guys later.